Today let us see histology of seminiferous tubules. See the outer sur surface of seminiferous tubule is composed of white fibrous connective tissue called tunica propria. Tunica propria. And the inner surface is composed of cuboidal, cuboidal germinal epithelium. The inner surface is composed of cuboidal germinal epithelium. And this cuboidal germinal epithelium is made up of spermatogenic cells. And this is made up of spermatogenic cells. This spermatogenic cells form sperm by means of process called spermatogenesis. And also some columnar cells are found in the layer of germinal epithelium. See this one. The, and this is called as water. Sertoli cells. The, now let us see the functions of Sertoli cells. These Sertoli cells provide nutrition to the sperm. So they are called as sustentacular or nurse, nurse cells. They are otherwise called as nurse cells or sustentacular, sustentacular cells. See, Sertoli cells provide nutrition to the sperm. So, they are called as sustentacular or what cells? Nurse cells. Apart from this, we can see other functions also. The Sertoli cells are phagocytic in nature. Phagocyte. Phagocytic in nature. That is, they phagocyte the injured or dead sperm cells. Then the second function is, they uh, produce inhibin. They produce inhibin. And also anti-mullerian hormone. They produce inhibin and anti-mullerian hormone. Then the next function is they synthesize estrogen. They synthesize estrogen from testosterone. Testosterone. And also they stimulate the process of spermatogenesis. They stimulate the process of spermatogenesis. This FSH, that is follicle stimulating hormone, act on this Sertoli cells. And they, uh, when this follicle stimulating hormone act on Sertoli cells, they secrete some factor. That factor is helpful in the process of spermiogenesis. Next function is, the Sertoli cells act as a blood testis barrier. Blood Testis barrier. What does mean by blood testis barrier? That is, this act as a barrier between blood or lymphatic vessel and uh, seminiferous tubules. So, this act as a barrier between blood vessel or lymphatic vessel and also uh, between seminiferous. See, the second function, it, it secretes inhibin and anti-mullerian hormone. The function of inhibin is it inhibits the production of FSH from pituitary. Then what is the function of this anti-mullerian hormone? It inhibits the formation of what duct? Mullerian duct. That's all about Sertoli cells. Next we will see uh, Leydig cells. Leydig cells are otherwise called as interstitial cells. These are the endocrine cells found between seminiferous tubules. So you can see seminiferous tubule, this is seminiferous, this is seminiferous. In between seminiferous tubules, Leydig cells are found. That is found in intertubular spaces. Then these secretes what hormone? No? Testosterone. These secretes what hormone? Testosterone. And these testosterone enters into the seminiferous tubule by means of diffusion under the effect of that is androgen binding protein. What is APP? Androgen binding protein. And this testosterone promotes what process? No, spermatogenesis. This promotes what process? Spermatogenesis. Uh, in forthcoming classes, I will explain about the spermatogenesis. Next, these secretes testicular hormone that is what? Androgen. Next, we will see about the structure of penis. Urethra continues. Urethra continues in a muscular tubular organ called penis. See the terminal part of the uh, that is terminal part of shaft of penis 
is bulging. That bulging part is called as gland penis. And this gland penis is covered by a movable skin that is called prepuce or foreskin. Prepuce or foreskin. And a special type of sebaceous gland is found on this prepuce. That is called as prepucial gland. Prepucial gland. And these glands secrete smegma. And these glands secrete what? Smegma. Suppose if the prepuce is removed and the process is called as circumcision. Circumcision. This is a mother chadangave say longer. And the prepuce of the male remove pandra period and circumcision. This is a mother chadangakuda say longer. Then the prepuce is attached to the base of gland penis by means of a membrane called frenulum prepuce. Frenulum prepuce. See, the penis is an erectile copulatory intromittent organ. That is the copulatory organ of copulation. And the root of penis is containing muscles. Root of penis is containing muscles called, that muscle is called as what? Crura. Root of penis contain muscle, that muscle is called as what? Crura. Then, penis, uh, sorry, this penis consists of a long shaft that enlarges, it's a long shaft and enlarges to form water. Glands, penis. Next, you will see about the body of penis. Next, you will see body of penis. The body of penis is composed of three longitudinal, three longitudinal, cylindrical, three longitudinal, cylindrical masses of erectile tissue. Cylindrical masses of erectile uh, tissues. See, the right and left side of the penis is composed of, that is right and left side is composed of corpus, cavernosum corpus cavernosum tissue and the median median is composed of corpus spongiosum median is composed of corpus spongiosum see this corpus cavernosum it do not reach the end of the penis it where it terminates it terminates under the cover of glans penis but this corpus spongiosum no it continues to the terminal part and it expanded to form a conical enlargement at the, the, in the gland penis. Then through the whole length of penis, what runs no? Urethra. The whole length of the penis, what runs? Urethra. The external opening of the penis is known as penile or urethra, sorry, urethral meters. Penile or urethral meters. Next up, erection of penis. See, the erection of penis is by means of vascular phenomenon. Vascular, that is blood vascular system, vascular phenomenon. And also, it is controlled by which nervous system? Autonomous nervous system. See, due to increased blood supply, due to increase what supply blood supply how blood supply increase due to dilation of penile artery there is an increase in blood supply and also enlargement of pain enlargement and also the penis become water hardened hardened then the mus at that time the muscles of crura the muscles of crura become relaxed so due to this only the penis become water erect then uh, uh, sometimes uh, that is archaeopexy archaeopexy what does mean by archaeopexy in the previous class we have seen undescended testis other testis when the scrotum sac la birth ku munadi erangala abadina adukku peru undescended testis nu solli irken and undescended testis vande scrotum ku kondu varadhu surgery moolama kondu varadhukku peru archaeo Pexy. Then what does mean by vasectomy? Cutting and ligation of vasa difference is called as what? Vasectomy. Vasectomy. 
cutting and ligation. Cut panni and the vasa difference of thirima on the water vaker the vendor, the vasectomy. Then erection of penis is controlled by which nervous system? No, erection of penis. Controlled by which nervous system? Parasympathetic nervous system. Ejaculation of semen into the female tract. Ejaculation of semen is controlled by sympathetic nervous system. Okay. The next class we will see about the female reproductive system. Thank you.